Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today we're going to be talking about tags in our Easy Etsy SEO class. And I think that's the hardest thing for some people to understand. And I was going to try to do it in like um, just tags and then try to backfill and explain things. And I, I really wanted to show you how tags and titles work together. Now, if you haven't watched the titles video, um, I will include a link to it below, and that will teach you how to do titles. So I'm going to fly through my title, but I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it because otherwise it's kind of, um, it's kind of hard to understand the difference between what you would put in your titles and what you would put in your tags, okay? So real quick, so we're doing this thing. It is a, um, I know it's really small, it's easy. It's a pedestal brass bowl, okay? It's a little bowl that's brass set on a pedestal, right? And I think that a lot of sellers get stuck here they're like oh functionally it is a pedestal brass bowl right so the first thing i always do is i come here to etsy and i'm gonna real quick check brass bowl right and i want to see what um if there were any underlying things here but because it's vintage it has nothing else so let's see um stand brass bowl stand let's see what a brass bowl stand is yeah, that's what I was worried about. It's brass bowl stands. But honestly, I think that is close enough that I would put that in my, like if somebody is looking for a stand for a brass bowl, maybe they're looking for both. So I'm going to put this in my notes that I'm going to keep right over here so you can see them kind of on the corner, right? So I wouldn't put that in my title, but I will put it in my tag. So something that's not quite right, something that's not exactly, I would definitely put in my tags because then I would have a chance to rank for it. Darn it. Okay, so we're going back to Brass Bowl. Brass Bowl. Asian stand, handle no. Candle holder, large with feet, with lid. Doesn't have any of those things. So let's go ahead and just do a search for brass bowl. Let's do a pedestal brass bowl and see if we can get any information. Okay, so there's 700 of them. Some of these people have to be able to help us, right? Um, compote, it could be a compote. I wouldn't put that in my title. It's not exactly, and you don't have to know what a compote is. A compote is something you put little, uh, it's a kitchen term, right? Um, large, I don't feel like it's large on pedestal. She kind of gave up, <laughs> right? Brass bowl on pedestal, got it. Medium sized, I think mine's medium sized. I'm going to put that in my tags. And the reason why I'm putting that in my tags, and I'm going to put small also in my tags, is because medium and small as a size are relative, right? So for me, I just did a brass or a little silver bowl that was this big. To me, that's small. To somebody else, the brass bowl that I'm doing is probably small when they're thinking, you know, like a really large brass bowl. Okay, so large vintage round brass. I got to have vintage in there. Um, I don't like to put in the first word because sometimes that kicks it out of search. Do, uh, do, do, do. This guy seems to have some nice keywords. Etched bowl made in India. Oh, we should check and see if see if it's made in India. Do we have anything that says made in India? No, we could guess it's made in India, but I don't have anything definitive. Let's wonder if it's on copper. With that uh vertigree. Interesting. Okay, so it does have this little bit of trim here. Okay, so I'm going to say that could be decorative, right? Decorative? Decorative? 
It could be um, federal style. You don't have to know any of these. Uh, federal style, plain, simple. Okay, we're going to keep going. Mid-century, it's not mid-century. Catch-all. Okay, now we want to start thinking about what could it be used for, right? Now we're dipping into what could you use that for. So you would say hall, table, um, catch-all. And we want to keep all these words that we find. It's not etched. They like etched. It's not hammered. It's not lidded. Not medieval. That's a very good description. Nothing's like my brass bowl. It's unique. <laughs> okay, so, you know. Unique. It could be an ashtray. Maybe it was lidded. Most times, so the way you can figure this out is most times if it was lidded, it would have a depression in it, and it looks like it might have had a depression in it. So I will not sell this for as much as I might. Like, if it was lidded, I would probably sell it for more. But it is a very nice brass bowl. I would use it. And I've sold lots of them like that. Brass bowl with pedestal, vintage brass. Here we go. This person looks like they have some more words. Hollywood Regency, boho decor, soil sides, brass decor. Oh, we could do home decor, right? Home decor. Okay, we're going to keep this part under 10 minutes. Okay. It's not enameled. Okay, so now we're going to go to Google and say pedestal brass bowl. Okay. And usually it wouldn't take me this long. I'm talking to you guys, right? Usually it's five minutes. Okay, glass pedestal bowl. Gold, gold. I'm going to put gold down here in my tags because it's it would be gold colored if it was polished. Um, I'm also going to uh, it's not quite bronze colored. Okay. Um, it would be metal. It is a metal bowl. Um, it would be colored gold if I polished it, right? Uh, compote vase. Ooh, it could be a vase, but I don't think it's a vase, but somebody could use it like a vase. And this, um, these extra words come in with a, uh, Chrome plugin called Keywords Anywhere. And I will leave a link to that because I just want to try to get an idea for, um, for this. Now, they say that you should use five or six words in your title. Um, I don't believe that at all. I am, um, we have 140 characters and I'm, I'm leaving 28 for right now, 30 when I take out that um, comma, I have much more room to, to put a lot more words in if I find something, but right now nothing is really, oh, it could be masculine. I do think it's masculine. Okay, when I typed masculine, now I started thinking about gifts for, gifts for men, right? Um, uh-oh, I'm getting in the way. All right. So I feel like this is a very, very good um, representation of, um, like, functionally what it is, right? And for me, I always feel like that's for Google or that's for somebody who's looking at that. Now, the, the tags to me feel like um, I have a little master listing thing that I'm just going to plop in here that just has, I'll be shipping this in a box with lots of padding to keep it safe so that I can do um, listings really easily. Actually, I probably would have copied this one because um, I've sold other ones. So this is going to go into my vintage, I'm going kitchen. I'm going in kitchen. 
Okay, now we're to tags, right? So when I do my tags, I came in five seconds over on my 10 minutes. Okay, when I'm doing tags, I want to have like one or two of them that are exact match to the top. Now, Etsy has said that that, that no longer works, right? Um, but if, if it works, I want to have that there. So I'm going to say what it functionally is. So it is a vintage. Okay. And, and then I would probably say vintage pedestal bowl to get those two words together. Right? So now I'm adding vintage pet and, and tags do not have anything to do with, oh, shoot, vintage bowl bowls okay I have too many all right we have so many words so people get themselves all twisted I list a lot of stuff because I'm doing vintage if you're doing um so even if you're doing one of a kind or you're doing handmade you're going to want to be listing lots even if you're just listing variations of color and things like that and you don't want this to be like a total repetitive over and over again the same tag so now i do have some room in bold i have gold so i can do pedestal bowl gold and it fits right so we have 20 characters to use in our tags google or excuse me etsy is not except for maybe that very first or second one you can put them at the end it doesn't matter but those phrases together etsy isn't reading this humans aren't reading this this is just a algorithm which we talked about in the first video going down through and saying does this listing have any of these words in it right so we can go all nuts now with these other ones we found try to squeeze them in stand Compote. Okay, so we got standing compote. Now I need a little word to see if we can squeeze it in. Base. I'm trying to use up every little bit of this that we have. Okay, medium, small. Now see, because do we have room for a tiny word? Medium, small, vase. Okay, vase makes me think of flower floral. Okay, sometimes you can do word associations too. The reason why it makes me think of that is because I've listed lots of these and I've done this research. So as I'm going through, I'm like, oh, flower floral goes with vase, flower floral. Somebody might be looking for something to put their flowers in. So that'll be good. Oh, and metal should fit metal. I like to use caps. You don't have to use caps. It doesn't matter. Computers do not, and we already had vase. Okay. Um, so I have only used six of my 13 tags. So now we can go nuts. We can try to find anything that we can do. And you could keep going in Etsy. Um, you could keep going on uh, a Google? Sorry, not enough coffee yet. Hold on one second. Maybe I'll get some more coffee. But I'm going to use marmalade because I like to do this faster. All right. And I'll put a link to marmalade below. Okay, so this is a paid subscription. If you're going to be really serious about your Etsy, it's probably worthwhile to get, even if you just get it to do your originals till you learn. Um, it's cheap. It's like $20 a month. Okay. So breast bowl is not long tail, meaning it's, it's like a standard word. It's a standard phrase. If I were to say vintage brass bowl, we could see if it's um, a standard word. It's sinking. It's not going slow because of it. It's going slow because I'm recording. Thinking, thinking, thinking. It's long tail. There you go. Okay. So, and it tells you all kinds of cool stuff. But right now, we're just worried about, let's see what the top 
you know by now, if you've been watching, there's no top listings anymore. What's Choisonary? Chen? Chinoisery? I don't know what that means. There it is. Chinoisery bowl. It's a thing. Uh, oyster shell ring bowl. Let's see what they say. I don't feel like they look like my bowl at all. So I'm not going to use that. Okay. Footed. Footed. <gasps> Footed. I don't know. Pedestal is footed. I should have known that one, but it's so hard to think of everything. Turkish brass bowl. Diameter, seven inches. Let's see how big our bowl is. Is it a normal size bowl? My bowls are never normal sized. It is four and three quarters inches. Five inches? That doesn't seem right. Okay, brass bowl, pink enamel, floral design, engraved, antique. I don't think mine's antique. Vintage brass bowl. Ooh, it could be a mortar. Okay, let's see what else we have. Vintage brass is a big thing. Decorative bowl. I have decorative. I'm 95% sure. Decorative is <laughs> decorative's just a thing. Um, brass decor, home decor, dish. Do I have dish? I do not have dish. Now, I don't feel like this is exactly a dish. I'm going to say dishes. I don't feel like this is exactly a dish. People call them dishes. They could be looking for it. The, the tags to me are things that people could be looking for. Am I probably going to rank super high for these when they're just sort of what my item is about. Now, sometimes it's exactly spot on. I need every word I'm using, um, you know, but this one is a little harder. I'm glad I picked something challenging because I don't want to like act like doing tags and titles is the easiest thing in the world. It sometimes takes a little while. All right, let's go back to marmalade. Uh, brass dish, vintage solid. I don't know if it's solid. It could be trinket. I think we have trinket. I don't have trinket. I for sure want trinket in here. Okay. And then I'm, I'm, I still need to do, I still have these guys over here, my gift for, so I can put in gift for men, women. I feel like it's more masculine fathers. Okay. Uh, people who garden inside, what would those people be called? I don't know. I don't know. We're going to have to keep thinking. Planter. See, that's what I was thinking. Maybe we're going to put it in as a planter. Planter. Plantar. Planter. Planter. Fruit bowl. It's very small for a fruit bowl. I feel like boho. It could be boho. See, like with boho, I mean, like, I would be number seven bajillionth boho brass bowl. I'm sure there's more of those because it's a thing. So 831. That's still not too bad. And my bowl looks like that. So this is excellent. Oh, 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 hold on. I got another one. Boho made me think of it. There's trinket dish, decorative. It's not a centerpiece. It's very small. I'm still thinking. I'm still rustic. That's what I was thinking. Rustic primitive. I'm going to do rustic primitive. Uh, let's do planters. Okay. I, oh crap. Sorry. Planter, planters, boho. Nah, okay. 
So this is a good time to talk about, I'm going to take out planter and keep planters. This is a good time to talk about, I have three left, um, plurals. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll put the plural of something into the tags. Now, I have done hundreds, thousands of searches on Etsy, and occasionally the, the searches are different for vase versus vases, things like that. It's not always that the, um, that the overall results are different, that you would miss out on that, but the, the order they're in is different. So, and I've done it over and over and over again, and it, it still happens. Like the number of searches is the same, or the number of listings is the same, but the, uh, the order that they come up is not the same. Okay, so now I need primitive rustic, which goes great. Now here's a thing for you. Glamorously vintage. And I know that gets vintage in there again, but I want my two words together. So um, Etsy search, if I do a search for, say somebody wants to buy from me again, and they do a search for glamorously vintage, okay? These are paid searches. These are not mine, this is mine, okay? So at least they can find me because it's in there. If I were to do a search for a, a store that didn't have that in their tags, it doesn't come up. Like you can't just search for it unless it's in the titles or tags, right? It'll say this stupid thing where they're like, find shops names can, but most human beings don't know how to do that. So. That's something I like to put into my tags. I sometimes put Tara Jacobson when I'm desperate um, because people do search for my name. If, if, if you're known on the internet and somebody might be searching for your name, you can also put, um, like we have a Facebook group that I belong to that is Got Vintage, um, Got Vintage something. And you guys may have that as a tag that you guys can do a search for and I'll do that. You could use, you can use your tags for things that are not kind of, they still show publicly, but that aren't like out there. So let's do, look at a couple of shops. Um, okay, Cove Table I got to do later. Let's see, what's this one? So this is Beverly Symes Jewelry. So let's see what Beverly's doing down here in her tag. So lovely gemstone adjectives right like really unique adjectives no like the amount of people searching for lovely gemstone are going to be really low we already know dainty's a big one memorable gift right those are very she's doing a great job with this because she's she's um doing things that are not quite yeah see these are different than her titles and her tags Let's go look at one more because I do feel like she did that very well. Um, let's do something else. These, ooh, that's a different thing. Okay, so horizontal bar necklace with rose pink. That, like this is functionally what it is, right? And then if we go to her tags, tiny bar. Oh, ready to ship is good. Ooh, that's good, ready to ship. Um, you can also do, this is kind of tricky, because I have some, uh, some here, you can also do top or best seller. And, and if, if somebody does a search for those keyword terms, there's not a category that brings that up. That's just, um, that's just keywords, right? Top seller, best seller, whatever. It's kind of tricky. It's fun. I don't do it all the time, but heck, and if you're looking for tags, that's what you want to do. So, Hopefully this helps. I'm sure this one's going to have a lot of questions. If it does, uh, make sure to leave me a comment below, or if you're in the Facebook group, uh, leave a comment, and I will answer all of those. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Earthly.